हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर एन्जॉइंग माई वीडियोज सो लेट स्टार्ट आर टूडेज डिस्कशन ऑन यूनिवर्सल लॉजिक गेट्स सो यूनिवर्सल लॉजिक गेट्स सो प्रीवियसली वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वॉट इज लॉजिक गेट्स सो दिस लॉजिक गेट्स एक्चुअली नथिंग बट अ डिसीजन मेकिंग प्रोसेस इन द नेम इट सेल्फ दैर इज लॉजिक लॉजिक मीन्स इट विल वर्क अंडर सटन कंडीशन ओनली इफ द कंडीशन इज सेटिस्फाइड देन ओनली इट इज गोइंग टू गिव अ सटन आउटपुट दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन my previous videos that is your experimental verification of or gate and gate and not gate those who have not seen they can go through again so now that gates that is your or and and not gate are called basic gates so now i am talking about universal logic gate so why it is called universal logic gates what are universal logic gates we will go into that and already we have discussed that this logic gates are actually governed by certain algebra and that algebra is nothing but the boolean algebra so every digital electronics is based on this algebra and it has only two digits one is zero and another another one is one so it can read only two digits what is zero zero means off condition one means on condition or zero means you can say it's a open circuit one means you can say it's a closed circuit so these things we have already discussed so now let us talk about what is universal logic gates why it is called universal logic gates now under this universal logic gates there are two categories or two things are come coming under this two uh this uh, universal logic gates the first one is nor gate and the second one is nand gate so what is the importance of these two gates the importance of these two gates are you can easily derive or you can easily get by certain arrangement the basic logic gates out of this universal logic gates only by using this universal logic gates you can easily go to the basic logic gates so that's why these two gates are having its importance in the electronics so let's start our today's discussion on the second uh, logic gate that is your nand gate so nand gate so as the name suggest this is a combination of two gates that is your not plus and so you can see here this two ot is silent and you are going to get nand gate so if you go to the circuit symbol now the and gate circuit symbol it's a two terminal device that is your electronic circuit symbol it has two inputs let us take a and b are two inputs and one output so let us take this is to be the intermediate y prime then at this end you are going to connect the not gate now this is the final output which is which is equals to y so this is the circuit symbol of not gate and this one is the circuit symbol of and gate so if you, the equivalent circuit symbol for nand gate will be you have to just remove this triangle symbol and take this circle small circle and attach it over here so the nand gate circuit symbol is like this so it has also two inputs that is your a and b are two inputs and y is the output so as the name suggest this is nothing but the inverse of the and gate this one is the inverse of the and gate because not plus and and not indicates the inverse gate so inverse of and gate is nothing but called the nand gate 
So let's go to the truth table and understand the truth table first. So we have two inputs that is A and B are the two inputs. Let us take the intermediate Y prime over here. The Y prime is here and I am calculating what is my Y prime. Y prime is nothing but the output of AND gate. So this will be equals to the boolean symbol dot A dot B. Now Y is nothing but which is the output here or you can say the output here that is the output of AND gate, NAND gate that is A dot B bar or this is the inverse of the AND gate. So what are the choices I have? The choices I have is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So these are the choices I have. So if you just dot it, 0, 0, 0 dot 0, William symbol 0 is equals to 0, 0 dot 1 is equals to 0. 1.0 is also equals to 0 and 1.1 1 1 is equals to 1. So this is my nothing but AND gate. Now what I am going to do? I am going to inverse it to get the NAND gate. So the inverse of 1, inverse of 0 is nothing but equals to 1. The inverse of 0 is equals to 1. Here also 1. Here and inverse of 1 is equals to 0. So as you can see, the output is 1, 1, 1 and 0. So the important factor is here is that whenever any of the input is low, that is 0 means low, any of the input, you can see 0, 0 or here is 0 or here is 0, any of the input is low, the output is high. If both the inputs are high, the output is low. So this is my NAND gate. Now let us go to the circuit diagram and understand this gate and uh, we will draw a very simple switch circuit. So here I am drawing the circuit diagram. Let's go to the circuit diagram and understand. So now we will go for the switch circuit. So this is my one switch. This is my another switch. So this is S1. This is S2. And these two switches are act as two terminal A and B. So then the switches are connected in series. We will connect a register over here because I am going to connect LED. If you don't have LED, you can use bulb. So this is my LED. So this is P side of the LED, this is N side of the LED. So accordingly we have to join my voltage source in such a manner that this LED will be forward biased. So this will be forward biased means P side will be connected to the positive terminal and N side will be connected to the negative terminal of the battery. So this is my circuit diagram for which gate this is for NAND gate now let's understand this truth table by uh, this circuit diagram now you see let us just name it uh, x y z p q r now you see when both the inputs are low or both the switches are open that means zero means it's open so that means this path that is p q s1 s2 r z is disconnected because both the switches are open now in which direction the current is going to flow now the current will start from this voltage source then it will flow x p through this register r x p resistor suppose r prime then z x x y x so x p r prime z y x so this is the path through which the current is going to flow if the current flows through the circuit the led is going to glow 
so we are getting one as the as my output so output is high that means the led is glowing now you see if a is zero that means this one is disconnected a is zero i have taken this terminal to be the my first input a is zero so this is disconnected and b is one here you can see b is one b is one mean this is connected but still then this path is open because one is disconnected this is a series circuit if this is a series circuit and a is disconnected means this path is open so current is not going to flow across this path so current is not going to flow p q s1 s2 r z current is not going to flow here so in which direction the current is going to flow that is x p r prime z y x so current is going to flow in the slower half means we are going to get the output because the led is glowing so output is high now in the second in third condition what is my third condition the third condition is a is one a is one means this switch is closed this one is closed and b is open since b is zero b is open this one is open the same thing if b is open the upper path is disconnected because this one is open so the current is not going to flow over here so current is going to flow in this lower branch means we we are the led is glowing across the circuit in the output means the output is high and we are going to get one and if both the inputs a and b are connected that means this two are connected now this is very important if if this two are connected try to understand current always flows in the less resistive path so which one is less resistive path the upper one is the less resistive path because here we have only two switches but the lower half there is a resistor so what the current will do now current will prefer to go in which path x p q s1 s2 r z y x so current is going to flow across this upper branch like this current is not going to pass across this pz so this branch is now disconnected because it provides very high resistive path so current always prefers less resistive path so that means the output will be equals to zero because this led is not going to glow in this condition so output is equals to zero we are going to get zero as my output when both the inputs are connected or closed my output is low because led is not glowing so now let us uh, do the setup and understand how this works this nand gate how it works so let's go and do the circuit arrangement so here is the setup all of you see this is my two switches as you can see here uh he, like this they are connected in series then i have taken this uh, what uh, this uh, register and this uh, led this one is my led they are connected across the switches so they are connected in parallel here also they are connected in parallel these are the two connectors i have just used to connect the circuit and uh, in this breadboard arrangement uh, i have chosen this uh, orange one to be my positive the yellow one to be my negative you can see here the orange one is positive that is the upper line and the lower line is negative so now let's uh, just switch on the circuit and uh, and just uh, see that what is uh, happening to the truth table so the switches are in zero zero you see 
the switches are in 0 0 0 0 that means upper path is disconnected this path is disconnected you see the output is high okay so let me just strike struck off this middle one because this one we are not going to consider because this one is AND gate we are considering NAND gate so you see input are 0 0 so here 0 0 are pressed output is high now you make uh, 0 1 so let's press this one now you see this is 0 this one is 1 so output is high we are going to get the LED is glowing now do the reverse let's do the reverse uh, the 1 0 so the second one third one is 1 0 so this is 1 this one is 0 the output is glowing now let's make it 1 and 1 so th this one is already 1 now you see what's happening if switches are 1 and 1 the output is equals to 0 and LED is not glowing so this proves the current prefers to flow in a less resistive path so that means the current is flowing in this upper branch here also the same thing the current is flowing across here so that means the LED is not glowing so let me do it 0 0 so that you will clear again so this is 0 this one is 0 the LED is glowing now you see 1 0 also LED glowing 1 1 LED is not glowing so this is all about our today's discussion I hope all of you have understood this NAND gate clearly and thank you everyone thank you for watching